to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Marsha Zubra O'Connor, president and owner of The O'Connor Group. Marsha, welcome. Thank you, Fran. Thanks for having me here today. I appreciate my that. My pleasure. My pleasure. You are running a phenomenal business. You have a phenomenal team, and you're a phenomenal woman. Oh. Um, I really want to thank you for taking some time out today to be here. Mm -hmm. And we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. before we were on set, yes. about significant people in our lives. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to take a moment to really honor you and your father, mm -hmm. who I know was a significant person in your life and continues to be a significant memory with you. Oh, thank you, Fran. I You're appreciate welcome. that very much. You're welcome. You know, the people around us are so important. And you are in the people group. I mean, you, you are in the business that significantly helps change how people do business. Um, tell us a little bit about that and why you got in the business that you got into. Absolutely, yes, and we do. We have an outsourced HR and outsourced recruiting company um, based in Wayne, Pennsylvania. And we really got started probably back when I was about 10 years old. Wow. And um, unfortunately, my sister had just got di diagnosed with cancer. And um, my father had worked at GE, and he was a non-exempt um, employee. And, you know, it, it was just difficult at the time because we had a lot of bills. And, you know, it was a lot of stress at home and all, too. And she must have had about 25 surgeries pretty much over a, a time span of about two two and a half years and so typically there wasn't enough money and you know my father was making as much as he could and working overtime every chance he had and I just remember the one time you know going into the hospital and my father started pulling sofa cushions from the sofa and I said to him real quickly I said well what are you doing mm -hmm. and he looked at me he's like what do you think I'm doing I'm trying to find quarters to pay for the parking at Children's Hospital. And I said, well, I'll help you. And I started pulling the Christians up <laughs> saying, I'll try to find a quarter for you too. And, you know, just to make ends meet. And it was really difficult because if you don't realize it, um, you don't make a, a lot of money and things like that happen in your life. You don't really have um, a wish list or a safety deposit. Mm -hmm you had to find money from somewhere. And my father was very proud and um, a very um, high integrity kind of a guy. And so you had to, guess basically make do with less. And mm -hmm. you never felt like you didn't have a lot of money, but we didn't. And I just remembered how I would always tell myself, I'm never gonna be in that predicament in my mm -hmm. life if I can possibly do it. And I'm gonna help other people who are in that predicament too, because now I'm on a board called Bring Hope Home. And I'm so proud to be a part of that because there, there are cancer patients going through some dramatic times and need funding. So we actually help pay for a mortgage, a car payment and stuff like that. So I'm so proud to be a part of that because it, when I was 10, I could have used a service like that and I right. swore I would give back. So my company started basically around that people interaction. So at the hospital, I was the one who was the playmate to so, so many kids in the hospital too. Wow. And so a paraplegic actually taught me how to play bumper pool. And um, it was amazing. And I was basically their playmate because mm -hmm. I was there for almost almost every day for about almost two years straight. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so you become like the interacting person about you know their skills and their backgrounds and all too. And then also knowing that someday I'd have my own business because I just felt as if I never wanted not to have money in my account and be able to pay for something at the given time. So mm -hmm. those are big, big pieces of my life. And yes. then obviously my mother said I was 12 and she said, well, if you want those pair of pants, I, <laughs> I can't afford it. You got to find a way. And right. you know what? And you're determined. And I said, well, I'll mow lawns. And so I started mowing lawns. You, and I've heard a lot of guys say that they mow lawns. I you did. are the first woman yes. that I've said, that I've heard, wow. Oh yes, wow. and I was pretty, um, I had a whole my whole block of my home so that I would basically <laughs> That's great. do lawns and, um, and I would do the extra. And so I knew from customer service back then, if you pulled the weeds and my counterpart didn't pull the weeds, they would invite you back basically because to do the lawns. Exactly. Competitive advantage at 12. Exactly. <laughs> but I also had good mentors too. So mm -hmm. a lot of them were older um, individuals who really took me um, aside and said, 
I see potential in you. Mm -hmm. You know, you could go places in life, and I'll just do that little extra. And they, they always believed in me, mm -hmm. and that was, that was huge. And so I started learning how to save money and mm -hmm. learning that if you did more, they would pay you more. Okay. And you also had to learn to basically speak up, saying, well, I did this for you, too. And, you know, that's going to cost, like, $5 more. And you, you had to figure out ways to, to make more. And then you realize this isn't as hard. But then you get older and you realize, I'm only making $10 an hour. And so you have to understand, if you want to make more, I really, really believe that everybody has the potential of making more money. Mm -hmm. I think it's always been out there in front of you. Mm -hmm. It's whether or not you're willing to go grab it. Wow. And so if my team has been great. A lot of more referrals and people like mm -hmm. that. But I have the best team in the world. I, I really believe that. And it's just been it's been a great experience, and it's been through referrals and other CEOs refer us out there and all too. So we really mm -hmm. haven't done a massive marketing plan. So I'm very fortunate in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And my dad always said, you know, be honest, be ethical, and really do um, above and beyond in your job. Mm -hmm. And I think if you keep those uh, key attributes, you can do anything. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. I hear the passion. Thanks. I love the story. Thank you. The story. I mean, it is obviously a very personal story, and the way that you drew from that story and made a commitment at a young age mm -hmm. um, around saving, around value, around service, and then to bring that into your current business is powerful. Thank Tell you. us a little bit more about your business. If someone were listening and they said, oh, the O'Connor Group, um, what do they do? What's your 30-second pitch? Absolutely. So we are a, an outsourced Mm -hmm. HR and outsource recruiting talent acquisition company. Mm -hmm. So basically, when a CEO is looking for outsourced HR resources mm -hmm. or somebody to manage their employee relations or put together a handbook, they would call one of my consultants. We would come in and basically be a partner with them to help them get them moving and grooving and until they're large enough to hire somebody full time. Okay. And the same okay. thing on the recruiting side. We can be either a piece of recruiting or all of recruiting. And we try to really manage it so that we are an extension of them. Mm -hmm. And so people on the outside have no idea that we're basically working for a different company. But we do a little bit differently. So we've got pretty experienced recruiters that really are deep dive sorcerers, meaning people who find very niche skills and, and basically pulling them from a job that they never thought before they were interested in moving and moving them into a new location. So we're really good at that. And I think when we really help them out in regards to their website and how to basically navigate the whole system of, you know, how come people aren't applying to your website? Mm -hmm. What's missing mm -hmm. and all too? Mm -hmm. And it's basically, we have to have those frank conversations to let them know what they're missing and why. And mm -hmm. then we help them put that together for them. So I'm hearing in that, I'm now going back to the lawn mowing and pulling the weeds. You're listening and looking for that extra service. Exactly. Um, exactly. That your competitors may not be providing, but you're solving a pain that the customer may not be aware of. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. And so that's been um, our MO, basically. And we always mm -hmm. tell people, do the right thing. You mm -hmm. know, um, it's we have a motto, it's family first. So we have a big family. Mm -hmm. Our group is really much into family and all, too, and making sure everything is done right. It's just, it's do the right thing, no matter mm -hmm. what. Even mm -hmm. if, you know, I have to eat an invoice. You, you, sometimes that happens. Mm -hmm. and But if it's the right thing, and you know in the long run it's ethically the right thing to do, you're going to do it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm good team. I mean, it's really been great, but they, they practice it too, and they're mm -hmm. curious a little too, so it's been, it's been a great ride. It'll be, um, be nine years since I'm first already, wow, which is amazing. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. That's Thank great. You. It is. And you've reached a number of milestones. Yes. Talk about some of the results that you and your team are really, really proud of. Oh my gosh. Um, I could tell you one in particular okay. is a client that we're rolling off on a little bit too, and I'll let you. Sure. Um, okay. So this one client, uh, we went in there about um, seven years ago, mm -hmm. and they asked us to do just four positions for the recruiting side. Okay. Right. And um, so we're like, okay. We just started asking questions about their processes, procedures, and unfortunately, the, the recruiting department wasn't well received at first, and so we okay. had to build that rapport. Mm -hmm. We also had how to build basically comfortability of working with basically this new recruiting team coming in and saying, hey, I think we should do this, we should do this and all too, and get everybody mm -hmm. on the same page. And so we became very much their recruiting team 
very quickly, and we started, they started seeing results. We started putting all these processes and procedures together, pretty much taking everything from scratch and starting to build it for them. Mm -hmm. And it was just a few locations, and then it started to be more locations and more locations, and we built it up to basically having about five people on that project wow. and, and running about between 150 um, to 200 positions over time for them a year and pretty much being in charge of their um, their national recruiting program, my, my team on the outside. But people on the inside, they all thought we were employees. And that's how we try to make it so mm -hmm. seamless. So we're really, really proud of that. And mm -hmm. we're also proud we brought them an internship program that has been growing significantly in all two and put it in play. And now they're running it themselves and doing a really great job. And we had mm -hmm. a military program we put together for them too. And oh, right, we helped that right. from scratch and got a military team across the country be a part of it and really said thank you to our veterans. And it's just all those things that we did for this client, which was just very, very proud of. And now we're rolling off because um, they're bringing everybody, they actually have a team now mm -hmm. to basically bring everybody on board and have them full time. Right. And they and they should be doing that actually. Mm -hmm. And so I feel as if we did an, a lot for them to get them mm -hmm. started on the right path, a process of moving. And, and now it's like taking that baby and letting him see them walk now. Yeah. And so it's so <sighs> exciting. Um, so I'm really very proud of that um, adventure that we've had over the past seven years. Wow, seven years. Seven years. Very powerful yes. out of a nine year stretch. Exactly. Well, you brought something with you. Can you tell us yes. what is what did you bring? Um, and show it to the camera just absolutely. so Absolutely. So it's basically it's a medal. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually called a coin um, in the military. And what, what coining really basically does is when people like shake my hand mm -hmm. and you go like this, but you actually put the coin in here and you shake it and they take that coin with them and all too. And it's an mm -hmm. honor for people basically in the military. And it's a big deal, actually. So one of the things we did with our military program and all, too, is we got people very much involved with mm -hmm. the program of saying, hey, we need something to give out to our veterans on Veterans Day and all, too. And mm -hmm. the idea came up about the coining. Oh. And so this, we worked with the graphics team there on all, too, to put together um, the symbolisms and the graphics. We had a name for the team and all, too, ties to stripes. And so we were really proud of that. So we made our own coin. Oh. And so when we took this to D.C., they actually had a national um, um, group down there for veteran programs and all too, they couldn't believe that this company, this manufacturing company, had its own coin to basically give out to other veterans and they were so impressed by that. Um, so we're really excited about that because, um, so when Veterans Day came around, I had the CEO hand um, deliver these coins to the veterans mm. at the site. Mm. I cannot tell you how impactful mm -hmm. that was to mm -hmm. the veterans to receive mm -hmm this coin made specifically for them from mm -hmm. that company given by the CEO. Yes. And the CEO came to me later, he goes, best idea I've ever had. He best goes, idea. and it was just the, the, the expression on their faces were priceless. He goes, this was an outstanding idea. So that made us feel so proud yes. and excited and all too. So this is actually one of my my favorite little things. So oh, exciting. that's powerful. Thank you. That's powerful. Thank you. You are about revenue. Yes. You are about, because you help others gain revenue. Yes. Uh, save money. You are about relationships. Yes. Um, clearly being an external team that can help an internal team perform seamlessly. Yes. And you're about results. Very much very, so. Very, very powerful. Yes. If there are CEOs watching mm -hmm. right now, how can they best get in touch with you? And for which specific problems should they call you? I would say it's typically when I hear the words, and I tell people this all the time, when you hear words about people issues, recruiting issues, you know, I keep getting these people and they're not the right fit. I have a lot of turnover and all too. I would say it's time for just a conversation over coffee, mm -hmm. just, just for us to hear what's going on, why mm -hmm. are things wrong, why mm -hmm. do you believe that you keep posting all these positions, you're not getting anything. And typically, it's a little bit more than that. There has mm -hmm. to be a strategy behind recruiting. I think people don't necessarily think it's that hard, but it really is. And you yes. need to basically walk it through and actually visualize basically where these people are going to come from and start targeting that direct area. And I don't think real people realize there's so many people on the market today, and I understand that, but keep in mind they're looking for pretty highly skilled and individuals and all too, so you have to start thinking that way of where people would find things. But also, give me somebody who I can do, passionate, go to, mm -hmm. get it done, and they can do anything. Excellent. I really believe that. Excellent. Marsha, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Strategy, relationships, recruiting,
Thank you. The O'Connor Group. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Yeah. You're wow. Welcome. Wow. Thank you. Appreciate that. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, significant TV. My guest today, Marsha O'Connor with the O'Connor Group. Join us for our next episode, and we will continue to provide you with stories of significance. Thank you.